So, everyone's afraid of dying, and if you say you're not, you're lying, because how can you not be afraid of dying? You don't know what's supposed to come, how you're going to die, or what, anything that's related to death. My quote by Alan is, I'm not afraid to die, I just don't want to be there when it happens. And I can understand why he's saying this, because obviously you don't want to be somewhere where you don't know what to expect. Um, I feel death is, re death is really related to fear. Fear of not knowing how you're going to die, fear of not knowing what to expect, fear of not even knowing when you're going to die. So, I feel that the most fear will come because you don't know what to expect after. Most religions in this world today tell us that there's heaven, hell, afterlife, you name it, whatever. But we're not even certain what religion is. Religion, for all we know, could be brought to us by ancient astronauts who wanted to come down, perform a few miracles, and say they're gods, and have us devoted to them. So, with that, you would really be afraid of not knowing. And another thing that we also could be afraid of is how you can die. You could if you die in crazy ways, you could die right now. I could die with a heart attack from this speech. <laughs> crazy thought, though. You could. What if you were attacked by a great white shark? That would be a ridiculous way to go. But that would be a crazy way. And that fear would be of not knowing how to prevent it, not being able to stop it, just giving in and taking what you can get. And... So, this fear would be what creates you to not want to be at the point or time when you're supposed to die, which, sadly, you can't avoid because everyone dies one day. And it depends on how you want to go out. Do you want to go out afraid of death, or do you want to go out kind of excited? You get to go out not knowing what to expect, <coughs> You get to, it's just something to look forward to, but I'm not saying go out and kill yourself, that's the wrong <laughs> But don't live your life in fear, because then you, you stop yourself from doing things you should be doing, doing things that can progress you in life, doing things that will bring happiness to you. And therefore, I agree with Alan when he says, I'm not afraid to die, I don't want to be there when it happens because I feel he has some good reasons behind why he doesn't want to be there. But he's also not afraid to experience what's coming to him. <coughs> I thought the opening was okay. You had a good statement of what your thesis was after transitioning to the topic. There's no real setup of the structure that comes along, though, and I think it becomes obvious as you get into the speech here. You're going off on a, a lot of different tangents. You know, something pops into your mind and you start talking about it. I'm thinking of you know aliens coming down to the here and you know giving us a religion. You're off on this tangent. You know, what is religion? And then you're, you're just going someplace else on it. And so I think you need to be a little bit more focused. You found a couple of interesting points to make. They, I think they got buried in some of that. 
uh, meandering, but uh, there are a couple of points that you've got there. Uh, if you look back at it, I think you could probably impose a structure on your material, but you you don't really make it as clear to the audience as you could. On the presentation, your voice is fine. You're projecting adequately. There's uh, adequate variety in your voice. You seem relatively fluent. Uh, but when I look up, I see you pacing back and forth consistently. Uh, you're turning from side to side. Your whole It's like you're facing one wall, and then you're turning around and facing the other wall. And then when you look at the audience, you kind of scan the audience instead of engaging them. You're looking out in their direction, but you're not really talking to people. And I think that that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, you know, the like I said, the main anxiety issues seem to be the um, pacing and the shit. Uh, that that would probably fall in that category. Okay, there you go.